Right now, the city of Aurora is well above the number of shootings seen this time last year. Now, just in the past two weeks, 15 young people have been shot, nearly all of them teenagers. Last year, 99 people survived being shot in Aurora. This year, that number is already more than 100, with still a month to go left in the year. This morning, we're hearing from Aurora Police. Now, News reporter Jordan Chavez is live outside the Aurora Police Department for us this morning. And Jordan, officers say they're just getting worn out. You know, Corey, it's more than just being worn out. They also say they are incredibly frustrated by all of this. As you can imagine, Aurora police saying that they are constantly reviewing each of their responses to all of these shootings, seeing where they could have done better in each situation. But they say, quite frankly, they are running out of resources. Now, Deputy Chief Darren Parker says that he and his team are using everything they can to help curb these shootings, but they feel like they really need the community to step it up and help them out. Now, in an interview yesterday with our Noel Brennan, Parker made a plead to parents for this very thing. He says they have better eyes and ears on what their kids are doing, that they're able to have these conversations with them, look in their rooms and their cars, and also figure out who they are hanging out with. There's those in the community that don't trust us and don't feel um, that you know we're legitimate and they don't they're not going to share information with us and that makes our job harder. So it's it's a resources issue and it's and it's a little bit of a trust issue as well. Parker says he has now been in Aurora for 26 years, and this is the worst that he has ever seen youth violence. He says that his patrol officers are going nonstop, but they are struggling to figure out exactly what is behind this wave of shootings, Corey. You can see why they're frustrated and burned out for sure. Jordan, thank you.